welcome back to my channel my name is joy and yeah today is the last day of this week's q um of q leaks or the last day for this arena of the the egyptian cards and mega math so um yesterday um the q the people who um i guess are the image of q um said on the video on twitter um or discord wherever you guys um view the video basically that this upcoming weeks are going to be classic worlds and if whoever has played before q leaks one would know that classic worlds are plus seven energy per turn mm, we start off with 14 energy and there's no energy cap so that means there's um, there's going to be more bigger combos, that's for sure, since there's no more energy cap. So, um, I was, so what I've, I've, I'm going to try out um, this week's deck just with a few alter changes. A few, uh, altering it a little bit and with a few changes, just so, um, just so it could have more power. That's the only, that's basically, that's I think that's basically it for the change. So, um, all the individual cards are mostly the same. Unicorn. Um, unicorn. This was, as I said, I changed it out with Titanium. Tried it out, and it's been doing alright for me. So it's pretty good. Um, but it's going to be doing very well, since now we're going to have no energy cap. So that means Unicorn will be very... Won't, won't be as much as as a obstacle um, as it was in this week. But yeah, so Unicorn... Easter Island State Cell X the Axolot Axolot uh, I'll just say Axel. So you know just short. Scorpion fly so here the thir three Xenosaurus, Falco Hawkfish, Sun, Alexander the Great, Pteranodon, Stingray, Husky, the Leodon, uh Frederick. Yeah. And this is where it changes. So um well as you see as here, Falco Hawkfish Yellow, the yellow eyed penguin and albatross. So, this, these cards over here, um, I exchanged them with the Julius Caesar, um, Hale, and I'm trying to remember. Uh, let me see from here Julius Caesar, Hale, and Zero card. Exactly. That I remember now. I exchanged those. I exchanged zero, of course, just because Mega Math is not gonna have plus fifty anymore, so it wasn't really a use um, for it anymore. So I changed that with yellow on the yellow eyed penguin, and I changed, um, of course, the combo Julius Caesar and Hale with Falco Hawkfish and Albatross, and this is a very strong combo. Not not only let's see, so sixty five, um, sixty five. And 52, those two combined. It'll be 117 power right there. Granted, the plus 50 boost, so that's another 100. So that's 217. Plus another 20 um, with Yellow Inguin, so that would be 137. And if you're playing against a three card, um, three card um, turn against the opponent, that's an extra 30 power. So in total, you get about 250 for this combo, which is pretty good. Um, yeah. Um, let's see, six. A 250 combo for being a 13 energy combo. Oh, 250 power for a 13 energy combo, which I say is pretty good. It's pretty good. So... That's the biggest change, and let's see, I exchanged this card, another name we can't say, with the other paleontology, the ham card, as I would call it. This one, I guess, called hmm, Udimorph, Udimorphodon, I guess how you say it, Udimorphodon, I guess the East Silent, U, yeah. So basically what this card does, is any oceans and sea cards played on the same turn as as this have minus fifteen power? So the reason why I changed the 
than the other one was because a lot of times there was quite a bit of times where this card or as you see if you notice this card gives 10 power to all paleontology cards in your hand and a lot of the times i only had about one to two paleontology cards um and it's not really good it doesn't really have a good power as you see for three to ten so i took that card out but anyways as you see here this card it takes away minus 15 power to any c card and it already has 29 it already has 29 it already has a 29 base power meaning that it's a decent card um so if you face against um especially now uh, since ocean is a very meta deck as of now with all the sea of bird cards with the falcon hogfish you have the queen angel fish you have um you have the kraken card there's just a lot of ocean card pretty good ocean cards right now especially good combos so yeah um this card would do would be very useful um when going against um you know going against these ocean cards especially if you use if they're your opponent plays a three card combo that's all ocean you will be get, um this card basically turns from um 29 power to about 70, 74 power which is very very strong if i added that card, yeah so yeah 75 which is a that means it's very strong that means you turn from a three power to three power 29 to 370 74 if my math if my max if my math is correct <laughs> mm. so yeah anyways so yeah that's it for you guys today um it was just to go over the deck i'm going to be using for this upcoming week um tomorrow most likely i'll show you guys the first um the match uh using this deck and then i will tell you guys how i feel on how it's going to do for the rest of it but yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video for anyone that's new please um you know subscribe to the channel this all this stuff is for f for fun and just because i haven't seen anyone doing um videos on this cue cards i decided you know why not why don't you make the videos you know show the videos that i would like to see basically talk about how um talk about decks to use breakdowns on decks and other strategies which hopefully um once the tests are over i can hopefully start making videos on strategies i think would really help you not card strategies but more in-game strategies but anyways, thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. I uh, hope you had a good day. And remember, until the next one.